this is the truth table of a JK flip-flop I will use this uh, to develop a D flip-flop now if I look at the truth table you can see that there are two conditions some at some places J and K has the same output both have the same output like these ones J and K are the same and these ones J and K are inverted like these two and the, these two so just the rest so if we look at that one so these are inverted so if we take a JK flip-flop when that's J here K here and the clock there and this Q Q bar there so if we tie them together with an inverter like that we get we end up getting a and the clock will be just uh, there anyway yeah. so we end up getting a D flip-flop this is what we call a D flip-flop when the input is J and when that happens as we saw before as well when J and K are inverted that is just like connected like that with an inverter whatever J goes to the out next state whatever the present state output doesn't matter because in both cases whatever is J there is going to output so it's just acting as a buffer with the clock the input that is J will go to output the next state of output will be J and it is independent of what is the present state of so if we look at D flip-flop and then Q here and then QT plus 1 here this is QT if D is 0 so if it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 these four conditions D is 0 this is 0 D is 1 this is 1 D is 0 this is 0 D is 1 this is 1 so next state is always the input so this is a D flip-flop and we can actually just modify actually basically that's what a D flip-flop is but we can if we have a J flip, JK flip-flop IC we can just connect it this way to turn it into a JK flip -flop, uh, D flip-flop